All right, day five. This is a really challenging one um, that I sat with for a long time. It talks about prayerfulness and how she used to believe that prayerlessness had everything to do with time, that she just didn't have time to pray, right? I think we've all been in seasons where we felt like we just didn't have time to pray. But the thing that really stood out to me here is, she says, the truth is Jesus was busy too. Whew, okay. That one really took me aback because as busy as we think that we are with all of our, uh, you know, work and family responsibilities, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera, Jesus was trying to save lives, save the world. He was healing people. He was traveling all over. He was teaching. Um, he was praying constantly through that. And so we really don't have time to uh, neglect prayer. We can't say that we're too busy to pray. Um, she says here, and yet at no point in the gospel do you see him neglect prayer all the time, praying without ceasing. We have time to pray, whether it's when we're brushing our teeth, when we are, you know, sorry, but sitting on the toilet sometimes is when I have to, you know, squeeze in some prayer. Um, sitting in your car, in line at the grocery store, in line at any checkout, you can pray with your eyes open, pray with your eyes closed, pray with your fingers when you, you know, text or type inside of this community. Um, pray by writing in a journal, just pray. We always have time to pray. Um, there's really never a reason that we don't pray other than a humility issue, which is the thing that I really sat with when she said that. It's so, so, so true because I think I don't have time, but that's not true. That's my heart and my mind and my flesh acting as though I don't need to pray. Prayer should be like air to us. We just need it to survive. And so I really felt convicted when she said pride is the true enemy of your prayer life. It deludes us into thinking that we're self-sufficient. So I know that I can't get through one day, one hour, one minute without prayer. And I really want to humble myself more. And so as much as I do pray, I want to pray more. Um, I want to pray and not take it for granted. Um, even simple prayers over your meal that you're going to eat, breakfast, lunch, dinner, a snack, just being thankful. Um, you have time. Let's all pray more.